Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be taking you through the basics of the new document system in the RPG engine. The document manager is located in the same menu as the in-game browser and the PDF viewer. On opening, you will be greeted with this basic guide on how to navigate and use the sheet system. For the purposes of this video, we're going to ignore this and jump straight into creating a new document. Let's create a new document by pressing the plus icon. We can change the name and location of the sheet by renaming the header here. You can navigate to different documents by selecting them in the left panel. The cross indicates currently loaded documents and the diamond represents which document you are currently on. Please be aware that there is currently no save prompt when closing existing documents. Be sure to save any changes you want to keep. To get started on the layout, we need to switch over to the build mode by pressing the hammer icon. This will open a toolbar with spawnable items, each with their own specific functions. A frame, a label, an input field, a toggle, an image, a roll display, and a focus button. To place these, simply select an item and drag a box where you want it to spawn. Toggling repeat will allow you to multi-place objects. Objects can be dragged around and scaled using left mouse drag. Frames can be used to group objects together. To do this, simply hold shift while moving an item over a frame. You can tell whether an item is parented and what it's parented to by looking at the color of the corners. Labels are used for descriptions and titles. They cannot be edited in play mode. Input fields can be edited in play mode and can be compared to editable fields in PDF. The toggle allows you to enable and disable chained references. More on that later. Images can be imported directly from your hard drive or from a web URL. They have an automatic stylize function and can be used both as decorations or as sliders and clocks. More on that later. The roll display will automatically display the result of a roll command. And the focus button allows for quick navigation around your document. This will become a lot clearer once we've taken a look at referencing. Should you make any mistakes, you can undo and redo actions using these buttons. Here are some useful keybinds to help improve the creation time. L locks or unlocks the item you are currently hovering over. Delete deletes the item you are currently over. Note this only works if the item is not locked. Alt while dragging will duplicate any item. As mentioned, shift and dragging will parent and unparent items. All of these commands will also work while over any grouped elements. Once you've created a sheet layout you're happy with, it's time to hook everything up. To enable referencing, select this icon in the toolbar. In this mode, you can link a variety of different fields to achieve a variety of different behaviors. Let's take a look at the most basic form of referencing. We'll need a label to act as a roll button and an input field to determine the roll. To link them together in reference mode, first select the input field then the label. Back in play mode, pressing the label will now roll whatever command is in the input field. References can be removed by pressing anywhere on the arrow. Commands can also be chained and combined. Here's an example of how you could go about adding bonus damage to a roll based on a toggle. In this setup, when the label is pressed, the result will be dependent on the value of the toggle. As you can see, when referencing items, each link contains a letter. You can modify roll commands using right-click to allow for more advanced mathematical equations. Using this method, images, roll displays and the focus buttons can also be hooked up.
Images can be set to fillable. This will change their look based on a value between 0 and 1. Let's say we wanted to display a health bar. Here's how we would set it up. After linking our current and max health values, we'll update the roll command to get the fraction of the health remaining. You may need to change one of the values in play mode for the image to update. Roll displays work similarly to labels, but instead show the result on the document, not the chat system. Finally, the focus button will automatically center the document to the linked item when pressing it. The moment any of your players join the game, you can assign them individual access to each sheet. They do not have access to build or reference mode. If you have any further questions, would like to get involved in feature discussions, or just want to see some of the amazing creations the community is coming up with, I highly recommend joining the official Discord. There's a link in the description below. A like goes a really long way, and subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Until next time, I'm The Architect. Happy gaming.